the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has just set a new record. <laughs> yes, Bola Tinubu has just sacked five ministers. And after sacking five ministers, he has just appointed seven more ministers. <laughs> hey, but there is a problem. The five ministers that were sacked by Alaji Bolame Tinubu includes the Minister of Women Affairs, Barrister Uju Kennedy. In fact, I'm coming to this minister because I don't understand why this minister was sacked and women were jubilated. There was a wild jubilation. Immediately it was made public that she has been sacked. I don't know why. I'm going to show you that video. Secondly, the Minister of Education has also been sacked. That one, a Professor Tahi Maman, a professor who is a son, senior advocate of Nigeria, and also, also OON, officer, order of Niger. I wonder why this man will get all this qualification could not perform as a minister of education because Tinubu made it clear from the beginning of time that he will be reassessing the deliveries of the ministers that any minister will not deliver say Ingo Saka <laughs> the next one is the minister of youth development Dr. Jamila Ibrahim since when they appoint him na so 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 protest neither they do for Nigeria we never see any youth development where this man don't do the next one that was sacked is Mr. Abdullahi Gwazo the Minister of State Housing and Urban Development. <laughs> With the way it made them tell us, say they don't map out one area, build real estate, you know, build fresh houses, give Nigerians access to these houses, give Nigerians mortgage to own a home. Since that time, we never hear anything. And finally, the fifth minister is the Minister of Tourism, Lola Ade John. <laughs> Tourism, we have been waiting for the rest of the world to start, you know, flying into Nigeria, at least in the last one year. Reviving and renovating all our, you know, tourist attraction centers in Nigeria, so that we can also earn money from tourism. But there is a problem. The big problem now is, Nigerians are saying that Alaji Bola Medinubu have done well by sacking these five ministers. Even though so many people were indifferent about Barrister Uju Kennedy, some people are saying that she's performing. You know, I cannot tell because I'm not a woman. Uh, but that being said, so many Nigerians are of the opinion that Alaji Bolame Tinubu's name should be in that list. <laughs> that he is the Minister of Petroleum and that it is obvious that he has not performed as a president and also as a Minister of Petroleum. <laughs> So, so many Nigerians are saying that Alaji Bola Medinubu should sack himself, <laughs> which I know is not possible, you understand? But don't forget to let me know what you think about that popular opinion from so many Nigerians. Now, so back to the seven new ministers that Alaji Bola Medinubu appointed. You know, one of the outstanding names that, uh, you know, resonate and started, you know, triggering some public opinion is uh, Bianca Ojuku, who was appointed to be the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. You know, so many people were saying that uh, that appointment was simply strategic from Bola Tinubu so that people from the Igbo extraction will no longer criticize him, <laughs> you know. But anyways, as much as I know about the portfolio of uh, Bianca Ojuku, she's overly qualified. You know, in fact, she was a senior special advisor to Good Luck Jonathan on uh, diaspora affairs, you know, during Good Luck Jonathan, during Good Luck Jonathan regime. And later, she was also an ambassador to Ghana at the same time, and also Nigeria ambassador to Kingdom of Spain. I mean, there are other names that are large Bolame Tinubu, you know, that are appointed as a replacement for the ministers that were sacked. But in overall, I don't necessarily think that Nigeria is a nation. That is the problem with Africa. We are appointing too many ministers, too many special assistants. You know, go to America, find out how many ministers that America has. Go to UK, go to Germany. You don't need too much people to deliver on what is expected of a nation. Now, because of incompetencies, all these too much appointees, appointees, it's just an avenue for people to squander money. Meanwhile, this is the video of the wild jubilation among women, you know, when the news broke out that uh, Minister of Women Affairs has been sacked by the Saudi Kennedy. <laughs>
I don't know why all these women they rejoice in this manner and in this fashion. What exactly has this minister done to them? I don't know. I don't know. So many people they talk say they talk say this minister they very active. Why they can't sack him? Me, I don't know. But anyways, as you watch the video, don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section and share this video. My another person, Siam. God bless you.